Doctor, I'm pre-diabetic. Should I take diabetic medications such as metformin? Pre-diabetes is when you're at risk of being diabetic based on your blood sugar levels. To measure blood sugar levels, we use HbA1c. This is called glycated hemoglobin. Now, hemoglobin is present in your red blood cells, which helps transport oxygen from the blood around the tissues and to the lungs. So with glycated hemoglobin, you have sugar molecules that stick to the hemoglobin and stay in the body for at least 12 weeks before they're broken down. And this is why HbA1c is used as a marker for blood sugar levels as it's more accurate than testing your fasting blood sugar or your BMs which you use a finger prick that can change during the day depending on if you've eaten or you're fasting. Now in the UK, a normal HbA1c is less than 42 minimal per litre. You're class as pre-diabetic if you're between 42 to 47 minimal per litre and you're diabetic if you're over 48 millimol per litre. In America, HbA1c is less than 5.7% and you're pre-diabetic if you're between 5.7 to 6.4% and you're diabetic if you're over 6.5%. So let's assume that you've got a 45-year-old man whose HbA1c happens to be 45 millimol per litre or 5.8% and he wants to know what should I do? Should I take medication or should I do the lifestyle? Well, many years ago, when you were pre-diabetic, at a risk of being diabetic, it was advised to do the lifestyle approach and monitor your blood sugars on a regular basis. So for example, lifestyle approach would be exercise, you know, change of diet, weight loss, stop smoking, stop drinking alcohol, you know, better quality of sleep, and other lifestyle changes that you would make. However, what happens is a lot of these people eventually ended up taking medication and studies have also shown that if you start metformin early, you have a better chance of reversing the diabetes than if you went on lifestyle alone. So actually, taking metformin in combination with lifestyle factors shows that you have a better chance of reversing diabetes than doing lifestyle changes on its own. And in pre-diabetics, taking metformin is also recommended if you have several risk factors such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, maybe you've got obesity or a raised BMI. So in this situation, it's better to take metformin. However, if you're maybe in your 20s, 30s, and you've got, you know, borderline sugar levels, you're not yet in a diabetic range, then you can decide if you want to try the lifestyle approach, check your HbA1c again in three months time, see how you're getting on. And then if you're happy, continue with the lifestyle approach. But this has to be done on at least an annual basis just to make sure that your blood sugar levels are not creeping up to become diabetic, because that is the point at which you want to consider going on metformin. There is no right or wrong approach to this question. It's doing what's best for you, but making sure that you're not at risk because the higher your blood sugar levels are in the body, the more you're putting your kidneys under stress, you know, you're putting your heart under stress and you're putting the rest of your organs under stress. So it's quite important to make sure that you're taking the optimum treatment for your blood sugar levels. So in a nutshell, if you're pre-diabetic, should I take metformin? The answer I would generally say is yes, if you have risk factors, again, such as your high blood pressure, cholesterol, obesity, and no, you know, if you don't have any of these risk factors, you're a young person and you're willing to strictly adhere to lifestyle changes. However, if you decide you still want to take metformin or any other alternative diabetic medication, there's no reason why you shouldn't take the medication because it is shown that reversing diabetes early has a better outcome than waiting for another five to 10 years, by which time you've had end organ damage and then it's too late to reverse the diabetes. I hope you liked this video. For more videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel.